Well, welcome back to Players' Championship 16, live from the Barnsley Metrodome. I'm Dan Dawson, and after what I like to think of as a subdued start to the commentary here, just picking up three and a half legs in, I'm very important. My fees are astronomical, so I'm only going to do about 60% of games. But I'm here for the business end of the opening match here on streaming board two. Steve. So far, Bunting had a chance there to get the first break of throw, but needed to find treble 20 with his first dart. Finds it with his last one, though, to leave tops, and McGowan under pressure to take out this 80. Consecutive holds of throw, and on we go. Stephen Bunting. In a high quality game, what a big scoring. Aspinall holding his own. But Bunting going out in the next round to Joe Mernon, convincingly beaten. And that was a game we didn't have on the streaming board, so it's difficult to make an assessment of his performance. But there has been hitting a lot of 180s, Stephen Bunting. He averaged 103 on a European tour stage not long ago. He ended up bursting into tears because it meant so much to him. He genuinely was looking at jobs at the back end of last year, just thinking he might have to quit the game because he just couldn't recapture the form of old that propelled. 81. Maybe things are turning back in the bullet's favor. However, he's up against Mick McGowan, the magnet. He's a very solid, consistent performer. And that is the first 180 of this contest, Mick McGowan gets down to a finish. Sixty. And Mick McGowan, a real chance for the first break of throw here. Couple of visits. He may only need the one. He'll look at the elevens here. Bullseye he needs for a twelve data. Line went astray. Bunting, 160. What a shot this would be just to hold his throw and it is on. It is on double top. Saves his bacon. What a shot, Stephen Bunting. We said there have been signs that the bullet may be coming back into form. But all the 180s in the world you can hit. But that is the sort of shot which shows that this man is playing with confidence. The confidence of old, hopefully. Because if Stephen Bunting can get back to the player, then we have a serious contender on our hands. He does have two PDC titles to his name. Won one straight away after moving from the BDO. And there's his first 180. Six perfect darts from Stephen Bunting in a row here. 160 check out under massive pressure. Kicks off 180. The minute to this game has completely changed. And he's in again. Oh. Yeah, won his first title when he first moved over to the PDC. And then just as that money was coming off his ranking two years later, he won another one. He beat Michael Van Gerwen in a final. Now, that was 100. the context of that victory. After he'd been in a real slump of form. And he has been for a couple of years, Stephen Bunting. Go and do that. He still has the ability to turn it on. It's just that we're not seeing it as regularly as we saw it in his first year in the PDC. The 170 won't go for McGowan, and Bunting this time has a go at the 1-2-1. McGowan missed the bullseye for it for a break. If Bunting can take it out, he'll have the first break, and he'll open up a two-leg advantage. How this game has changed, Trouble 17. Oh, just a little bit low. A good last dart, and McGowan's forced to take out a ton plus himself just to hold his throw. Can he hit back? Only needs one treble. He may stay there, may look at the 18s. Well, he did move to the 18s. And he couldn't hit it. It's a double 12 for the bullet to open up a two gap for the first time in this match. Shocker of a dart. Double six. There it is. It is a perfect last dart from Stephen Bunting after a nightmare first one. But ultimately, it is the break of throw that he so desperately needed. McGowan missing the ball for a 12 data. Bunting hitting double six for a 12 data. And in the space of a leg and a half, this game has gone from being... A bit of a torrid one for Bunting, to looking like he could coast it. McGowan's not done yet. It's 
Stephen Bunting, the top seed on this board. And there, the darts of a top seed, firing in his second 180 of this match. Winner of this faces either Stuart Kellett, former top player in the BDO as well, or Brian De Hoog, a man who very narrowly missed out on his tour card at the start of the year. Robert Thornton, the other seeded player on this board, three-time major champion, takes on Ron the Bomb Mullenkamp, and the veteran Wayne Jones is up against the up-and-coming Jeffrey Desvan, the Black Cobra. feeling maybe McGowan's race is run that massive chance to take out the 1-2-1 one, one checkout and go 3 60 and that 160 has been a game changing shot or it's good enough because bunting should get at least a dart at the bullseye and he might get a couple at double 16 oh we might even get that in fact he does well, Scruffy, once again, Stephen Bunting missing a big number. He did it when he was going for double 12. That's in the two, so it can't be done now for Mick McGowan. And, <laughs> well, three scored after two darts. 22. Yeah, that's not really one that he'll want to remember, is it? 20 for double 16, 12 for tops. Or five. Now double 16. And once again, Stephen Bunting throws a hideous first dart and tidies it up with a beautiful third one. The upshot is, he's 5-2 up. Well, McGowan knows what he's got to do. It'll have to be four legs on the spin. And it can be done. We saw Kyle Anderson in the semi-finals yesterday rattle off four legs on the spin against Darren Webster from 5-1 down, then miss a match dart. Webster missed seven match starts before he finally got over the line. And then Darren Webster won his first PDC ranking title in 12 years by knocking out the number three seed, Daryl Gurney. In the 6-1, convincing stuff from the demolition man. What a day that was. Could we see a repeat? Could he make it back to back? Demolition man. see the draw on PDC TV all the results will be going up there as they happen it looks like we'll be seeing the number six next to Stephen Bunting's name because that leaves him 81 for an 11 dart leg to close this out 6-2 and it does not tell the story of this match because Bunting was in all sorts of trouble in that fifth leg McGowan missed a dart for a break of throw and a 3-2 lead Bunting took Off, and he may only need two darts. Double six again. 69. Well, two match darts missed by the bullet. Double 12 and double six can't find the mark, but he will return looking at double six. McGowan has just got to put a dent in this and hope, and you can see from his facial expression, he doesn't feel like he's done enough. He has left a two darter, but double six for Bunting. Double three for Bunting. Still double three. Oh, Stephen Bunting, it's five match darts missed now. At 12s, sixes, and threes, and McGowan could nick it. Does he go tops, tops? He does, and he can't find it. Though he has left double top. Bunting may split this. He could go two, double, two. He has made a habit of splitting awkward finishes in the past, but where is he looking? Well, he's looking straight at it. And he's making it hard for himself. Oh, and he's gone next door into the 19. You could see that step over to the left-hand side. He just couldn't quite adjust the line and the target properly. And he fires it into the wrong bed. And that means that Mick McGowan has survived eight match darts. He has pulled a leg back. But it was only a hold of throw. Closing this one out. Particularly, as around that treble 20 bed. There have been scruffy darts from Bunting. Missed a couple of big numbers. Those doubles missed there, obviously. But there have been far more good, strong, well-thrown darts from Bunting in this game than scruffy ones. And here's some more. Wonderful stuff, Stephen Bunting. Two 180s, a 177 to go along with it. 
and surely he's going to get handfuls more match darts in this leg. 100. He began yesterday with a 6-3 win over Nathan Aspinall and he couldn't follow it up. He may be about to begin today, Stephen Bunting, with a 6-3 victory over Mick McGowan. 56. First time he'll have beaten McGowan in his professional career. Their one meeting was won by McGowan in March last year. He's still fighting. And he's he missed it. Oh dear, another big double, big, big number missed. 72. Well, it does leave him, double eight. He should have had a match dart there. He may not get another one in this leg because it's bullseye for McGowan. He's missed this once. Nice. This was closer, but not close enough. Bunting, double eight to finally kill this game off. There it is, Stephen Bunting. He made hard work of it towards the end, but a 160 checkout in the middle of that game completely changed the complexion of it. The Bullet, once again a 6-3 winner in the opening round. He'll take on Brian De Hoog or Stuart Kellys, and those two are in action here on Streaming Board 2 live from Barnsley Metrodome at Players' Championship 16 in just a few moments' time.